assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to our today lecture in our today lecture we will discuss about the firm output decision under perfect competition so for uh, deciding the output decision under perfect competition there are two rules uh, there are two condition the first condition is that firm will output or film firm will uh, maximize their uh, profit where marginal revenue is equals to marginal cost so that is the first condition for deciding the output le output level or the uh, maximum output level where the profit is maximum and the second condition for the deciding or for decision of the uh, maximum or optimum level of output or the point where the profit is maximum is the point where marginal cost cuts m are from below so basically these are the two condition for deciding the optimum level of output or the maximum level of output uh, at the quantity so as you can see that we have here two graphs on the left hand side you you, you can see that uh, there this graph represent the industry where the supply and demand forces are deciding the price level so as we discussed in our earlier lectures that in case of perfect competition no individual can no individual firm can change the uh, price uh, they have no market power so they have to sell uh, their um, products at that price which is already prevailing in the market so here we have decided the price which is uh, decided by the demand and supply forces so as uh, we know that in case of perfect competition price average revenue and marginal revenue all are same as we discussed in our previous lecture if you want uh, to study that why all these are uh, equal uh, they are all equal you can see uh, the previous videos so uh, now we will draw marginal cost curve and uh, it will give us the maximum or the optimum level of output where our profit is maximum so as you can see that uh, this graph is for mc and this is for marginal revenue average revenue and price so there are two condition for the uh, output level decision first mr equals to mc so as you can see that in this graph mr is equals to mrc mc or mr uh, or mc is cutting mr from two points first point is here and the second point is here so uh, this condition first condition is uh, achieving uh, we are able to achieve first condition on both of these two points on this point mr is equals to mc and this point also mr is equals to mc but only uh, at this point we are able to achieve the second condition and what is the second condition the second is condition is that mc cuts mr from below at this point you can see that mc is cutting mr from upper point so it is decreasing basically at this point so at this point mc is cutting mr from below so this is the point where we have to decide our output and at this uh, level of output our profit is maximum now for your uh, uh, for your uh, further guidance i will draw these uh, curve again on a, um, a new slide or a new whiteboard so in this way you can understand this graph easily so now i will draw uh, the marginal cost and marginal revenue curves again so that you can understand them very well so we will drawing this curve again so on x axis we are taking quantity and on y axis we are taking revenue and c is for cost so as we know that in case of perfect competition the price average revenue and marginal revenue they all are same so for output decision we just have to draw marginal cost curve and it will give us the maximum level of output which where our profit is maximum so this is the marginal cost curve and marginal cost curve is intersecting marginal revenue at two point 
first point is here and the second point is here so for example if we say this point a and this point at b but there is only one point which is meeting the both two condition first condition is mc equals to mr and the second condition is mc cuts mr from below so mc is equals to mr at this point and also at this point mc is equals to mr but only at point b mc is uh, intersecting mr from below so our optimum level of output is only at this point q steric and this is q and the second thing is that at uh, this point we are producing more number of output as compared to this point so when we are producing more number of unit our cost is declining so any quantity uh, for after this point will uh, will become our loss for example if you are interested to produce as this point so your cost is this and your revenue is this so this area shows your loss similarly if you are producing uh, less quantities beyond this point for example let, let's say this point so at this point again you are facing losses because your marginal cost is greater than your marginal revenue so the only option uh, where you can produce output and which give you the maximum profit at point b where your both conditions are meeting marginal cost is equals to mc and mc is cutting mr from below